Okay, this is the wheelchair that I am going, going to be securing to this bus. This is an average wheelchair for a small kid, probably between the, the ages of 5 and 10. And the first thing I do whenever I see a wheelchair student, I first check the wheelchair itself to make sure that the wheelchair is in good condition. I want to make sure that the tires are in good condition, not loose or cracked, that the braking mechanism actually holds and locks. Same on the other side. Make sure that it's in good wear, not damaged, not waggly, not loose. And then the braking mechanism on the wheelchair itself locks the tire. Another part that I check is the actual seat belt that comes with the seat belt, with the wheelchair. Make sure that it locks, it holds, and I want to make sure that I can unlatch it too. That is very important. The district that I work for, it is a policy that if there's any of those items, that any of those items that I just checked are not properly maintained, we can refuse transportation because that's an extra liability on the driver. So let me secure this chair. Seatbelt goes on. And I'm going to show you the system we have here, the system that I treat, that I teach my drivers. As you see on the floor, you see one, two, three, four, Sherlock retractable hooks. Pretty sure you've seen these before in other videos. How you loosen it up. And it locks and you retract it back. This is the setup that is recommended. The two on the front are on the outer rails. The two in the rear are in the inner rails. And I also have something hanging that is called a three point belt. It is anchored and secured to the rail on the body of the bus on the top. And it has a, also a belt that's supposed to work <clears throat> with a latching and unlatching. I'm gonna leave it right there like that now. And I'm gonna have a, my partner record me securing the wheelchair. Okay, again, this is a three point belt, three point system, one, two, three. It's got a little uh, latching on the bottom for the clip and you're gonna secure it to your belt like this. You also wanna make sure you check that everything works. You give everything a good pull and it holds. All right. So I got my wheelchair here. I already explained to you how to inspect the wheelchair. You have your student facing forward. The student is always going to be facing you, the driver. You secure it centered. You want to secure the chair <clears throat> with his own braking mechanism. And then you have the front Sherlock retractables you loosen them up on this side and you want to secure them to the frame of the body of the wheelchair same thing on this side loosen it up and you want to secure it to the frame of the body of the wheelchair a lot of new uh, wheelchairs have special devices <clears throat> they are welded to the frame of the wheelchair. You can use those. 
Also on the back, the two retractable hooks on the back are going to be in a 45 degree angle to the body or frame of the wheelchair. Now I'm going to secure the wheelchair. I'm going to tie them, start retracting and make sure that everything locks in place. Make sure that the seat is not going to go anywhere while I'm driving this bus. Extra safety, if the bus has the rail that I explained to you. Okay, like I said, for extra safety, our buses are equipped with a three-point belt tie down. I'm gonna latch it, take it off. I'm gonna put, set up the buckle side of it first in an angle, make sure that it's secure. I pulled it, it's good. I have the other two systems here, the other two points. I'm gonna adjust them properly. I wanna make sure that it's not tight on the chest of the student or right by the bottom, uh, by the belt line, but it's not loose too, just snug. So that's how you're gonna have that in front of the student in the wheelchair, snug. So I give it a pull, it's good and secure. So this is the system we use in our school district. We have four shear lock retractable hooks. By law only require three, but we have four. Two in the front, in that angle, two in the rear, in that angle, and also the three-point belt system. Any bus that is, uh, again, equipped with these rails must have a three-point system. This is in California, and this is in our school district. Every school district has a different policy, but this is the way we do. We just do, we go the extra mile for safety. This is our bus, one of our buses for our wheelchair students. They are precious cargo, so I hope that this video was uh, helpful in any way. Any questions, leave them on the bottom of the, of the screen. Any comments, any suggestions, I'm always uh, willing to learn other new stuff. Thank you very much. Please subscribe.